Before you sit in the specialty board examination, we are going to brief you on some of the basic technical requirements. So if you're ready, stay tuned and join us in this video. Sitting for the board examination requires a valid email address. So first, you must have your own valid email address. This is important in order for you to receive the candidate number as well as your passcode to the exam. A free at yahoo.com email address would do. Second, you must have a stable and reliable internet connection, at least 10 Mbps. Your own prerogative whether you want to do the exam at home or go to a secure location where there is a reliable internet source. For safety and online security, public places with public internet connections are discouraged. If you are using your cell phone's data connection for the exam, be sure to check if your SIM card is still a 3G SIM card or if it has already been upgraded to 4G LTE. If you do not wish to upgrade your SIM card for whatever reasons, we suggest that you buy a 4G or 5G LTE enabled SIM card for this, for increased bandwidth and better performance. Fourth, you must have your own reliable laptop with working power source, full battery, and preferably with power cable plugged in to a power source, working camera, microphone, built-in speaker, and a working mouse. It can be Windows-based, Mac, or Linux. Desktop, personal computers, and tablets are not allowed. Web browser should preferably be Google Chrome, but Firefox, Safari, and MS Internet Explorer will also do. Fifth, you must have reliable mobile phone with working power source, fully charged battery, and preferably with charger plugged in to a power source, working camera, and microphone. The phone must have its own stand or can be propped up. The Zoom app must be installed and registered already. And the last one, you can have your backup internet source. Example, you can have your pocket Wi-Fi or USB dongle. Preferably different from the main internet source. Backup power supply, such as power banks, is optional. Next, the guidelines for the board exam. We have here the guidelines and conduct during the online written and practical exam. First, the examinee must bring his or her most recent PRC ID card for verification purposes. Examinee must be alone in a well-lighted room with adequate ventilation and working electrical outlet for laptop and mobile phone charger. The door should be closed but unlocked in cases of emergency. The contact number of the local designated local proctor within the examination room must be provided in case of emergencies. Examinee must have a clean table or desk to work on. Only the following are allowed on the table. Laptop, mouse, mobile phone, backup Wi-Fi source, food and drinks. A clean piece of paper and a pen or pencil is allowed for notes. No unnecessary clutter. For food, only snacks are allowed like sandwiches, crackers, cookies, and small pastries. Water, juice, soft drinks, coffee, and tea are allowed. Definitely no alcoholic beverages. Food and drinks may be consumed during the allotted exam time. Examinee's face should be clearly visible and recognizable at all times during the exam. No unnecessary facial movements or expressions that would make us think you are talking to somebody. No headphones, earphones, Bluetooth speakers, or music. Mobile phone camera and microphone should always be on during the exam. No incoming or outgoing calls. In the event of an incoming call, it must be declined unless it is from the member of the Board of Examiners or the Secretary. 
the written exam will be divided into three sections. Under the PBR1, we have the radiologic procedures for 50 items, physics 70 items, applied anatomy for 100 items, and under applied anatomy, items 1 to 44 are multiple choice image based, and items 45 to 100 are multiple choice questions. For PBR2, we have the genital urinary radiology 80 items that covers 1 hour and 45 minutes, gastrointestinal radiology 80 items 1 hour and 45 minutes, cardiovascular radiology 80 items 1 hour and 45 minutes, pulmonary imaging 80 items 1 hour and 45 minutes, neurology head and neck imaging 80 items 1 hour and 45 minutes, pediatric radiology 80 items 1 hour and 45 minutes, musculoskeletal radiology 80 items 1 hour and 45 minutes, and women's imaging 80 items for 1 hour and 45 minutes. Under the PBR3, we have the genital urinary radiology 5 cases for 30 minutes, gastrointestinal radiology 5 cases for 30 minutes, cardiovascular radiology 5 cases for 30 minutes, pulmonary imaging 5 cases for 30 minutes, neurology head and neck imaging 5 cases 30 minutes, pediatric radiology 5 cases for 30 minutes, musculoskeletal radiology 5 cases for 30 minutes, and women's imaging 5 cases for 30 minutes. No bathroom breaks allowed once a section of the exam has started. An examinee can have a bathroom break once the section is finished and submitted, but before the next section is opened. Maximum duration of bathroom break is 15 minutes, but note that this 15-minute break is using up your allotted time for the rest of the examination. In the event of lost internet connection or disconnection, the examinee must log in the time when the connection was lost and recovered. The examinee will be given only 30 minutes to re-establish connection. Remember not to close the browser because your answers are automatically saved and are still in the browser. In the event of an emergency where the examinee can no longer continue with the exam, his or her candidate status will be forfeited including all the corresponding and other related fees. He or she will have to apply for the next scheduled board exam. For the online oral exam, here are the guidelines. The oral examination will be done online on January 25, 2021 starting from 9 a.m. onwards, depending on the number of examinees. The Board of Examiners will inform the examinee who will take the online oral exam on January 24, 2021. A link or invite will be sent to the examinee for his or her scheduled oral exams. The examinee only needs a laptop for the oral exam. So there you go. If you have further questions, you may click on the link provided or you may contact the secretary.